Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche. Yay, we're back today. Sorry about yesterday. Yesterday, I just, my life just blew up into craziness yesterday and so I really struggled. My Ooh. favorite builder in town. Hey Molly. Oh yeah, we finished loads of quests last time, so now we've got new ones. Hey Molly, what's up? Ho oh, ho, how would you like to go on another adventure with me? Yay! Since we had such fun last time. Adventures with Molly. On the maps, there's a ruin on Starlight Island. I need to go check it out before the mayor starts letting in visitors. I might run into more jammed doors, so I thought, why not just bring my own builder this time? What do you say? Sure. I'll wait for you at the harbor. Cool. Right, so you should wait at the harbor for me. Let's have a look at my mail. Oh, from Pa! Oh, this is a new one! I think. No, it's not. I've seen this letter before. I've seen this picture before. Anyway, I used that for a thumbnail one time. Hey, Sheila, it's your old man. I hope this letter finds you well. It's been a long time since I last wrote to you. How are you? I hope you're adapting well and making great changes to Porsche. I really enjoyed my time in that city, you know. That's why I never sold the workshop, in spite of travelling around so much. I'm not sure why I'm writing to you right now. I guess I just wanted to let you know I'm still alive and kicking. We've been travelling the eastern continent since I last wrote you, exploring its wonders. It's always dark, cold and dangerous, but there are so many wonders. We're probably the first humans to set foot in these parts in a long, long time. I guess I just wanted you to know that, you know, in case I don't come back. Oh no! But I will try to make it back. Maybe when you've become a great builder like me, then we could compete and see who's become the better builder. How's that for a thought? Ha <laughs> ha! Ah. Okay, I already have competition. Bald Higgins. So just gonna pick up all my stuff, pop it away. The huge. Thank you, Ak. So much stuff in my inventory. It's not even funny right now. Okay, so I've forgotten what was needed. Was it? Leather and quality leather and flexible fibre or something for Carol? What do I have at the moment? I have like blue leather and fur and things like that. I've got flexible fibre and fabric. I can't remember what it was. I'm going to go quickly um, and grab a commission and then I'm going to go and see Carol and see what I need to do to upgrade those trousers because I'm getting kind of annoyed with just wearing this green skirt and nothing else well obviously something else but I, I, I think I like my martial arts kit a lot, a lot better honestly I could go back to my riding gear but no I like my I like my kung, kung fu gear I think so uh, I think I actually need to find Carol, unless I can just use this. Yes, I can use this. Okay. So these, what do I need to do? I need three leather. As well as the flexible fibre. Okay, let's go make some leather. Oh no, my commission. I forgot to do that first. I was too obsessed with what up there. <laughs> okay, never mind. Oh, Higgins is still there. I can still like... Beat him to the punch. Oh, well, that will be the one I'll take. What? I'll just keep it open <laughs> so I can take it later. So I still got our commission. What was that for? I don't even have it pinned. A wicker basket. Maybe I do. I do have them pinned. What am I doing? Being silly, that's what I'm doing. Okay, wicker basket. Let's do that first. This is what happens when I take a day off from recording. I forget everything I'm doing. So I kind of feel like I need a day of sleep to make up for yesterday. I spent four hours just in the car. Not on like a big four hour trip, but like like all these different trips everywhere. It was like three different towns I had to go to yesterday. And my MOT in one town, the next town over. <clears throat> to pick someone up from the airport, which is a trip to Edinburgh. And then I had to go for a meeting, which was in Perth. So it's like... They were miles apart from each other, and I'm sort of living in the middle somewhere. I'm not telling you where I live, because, like, you know, you might come and find me. I don't think anyone's coming to find me. 
I'm not that interesting. But anyway, um, ooh, Sam's got a... Oh, was it your commission, Sam? Yes, it was. Cool. Extra Sam points. All right, let's go and have a look on my social and see who I want to go out on a date with. So many people that are my good friends. I'm not only going to work on the good friends so much at the moment. I mean, May and Merlin and Molly and Jack could probably all become my good friends today. If I play my cards right. So I might go on a little run and find all those people and give them all a present. Just to put more, more people into that category. And also Lua. Basically, I need to try and give Lua and Siwa a present every day. Yeah, okay, I, I've got it. Right, okay, so. I oh, still don't know who I want to go on a day with, though. Ah. I don't think it's either of those people, because they can they can all be done with presents. Okay, let's just think about this. I do need to keep giving Dana burritos until I can take her out on dates, and then I will have to take her out on a lot of dates. Hmm, Oaks would be a good one. I don't really have I've got good presents for Toadie and Presley, but Oaks I'm still struggling with a little bit. Okay, yeah, let's go find Oaks and take him on a date. We'll do that first. So that'll be tomorrow. We'll take Oaks on a date. If I can find him. Oh, did you? Have I got a lamp for Hi. you? I might do. Hello. Nope. I need to work on presents before the next festival badly. Oh, oh we do have one. There we are. Oaks is usually either kind of out here somewhere with Papa Bear or down by the, the, the water. I honestly feel like once I've recorded this, I honestly just feel like getting in the car, going to the beach, and just going for a walk down the beach. I've got a real sort of longing for that, and I, I hope I can get enough time to do it. Hello. Have you seen Oaks anywhere, Carol? Have you, have you seen him anywhere? Oh, I don't have any. Oh, never mind. Not today then. Hello. I'm sorry, I never have your feather duster. I'm such a bad friend. I'm gonna pick up some more of these. It's good because I've got an. Oh, I do have actually enough now for the factory upgrade if I want. Good to know. I want some pigment though. I'll pick up a little bit of cloth and a little bit of cotton, a little bit of linen. Never hurts to have those when I when I'm passing by. Maybe another 10 or so of those. I mean, I'll pro probably by the time I got through 10. Unless I use them for other things, like rugs and things like that. By the time I got through 10, I'll probably be BFFs with Carol. Am I BFFs already? Hang on, I have to check this. Because I'm getting a lot of BFFs right now. Carol is a best friend, but not a BFF yet. Martha is also a best friend. Phyllis, not quite. Hmm, interesting. Hey! I have a lot of best friends at this point. I've got more than a page full. This is going really well. You're so generous. Pinty boy. Darling. I am I promise when I come back from No, I don't want to date. Uh I promise when I come back from TwitchCon that I will do more streams so we can get your cutscenes back and then we can get married, okay? I've just got to wait just a little while longer, okay? Ginger's in her house. I'm going to check on Ginger in her house just in case I can chat to her about anything. Sometimes you can do chats with her that give you like 20 social points. Also, they're quite interesting. So I'm just going to have a chat just in My case. Dad tells corny dad jokes all the time. I think I'm the only person that finds them funny. Ah, oh, Ginger. No, so no, no things to talk about at the moment. We will get Ginger on side easily. She's already like a good friend. I've been working really hard on Ginger ever since the start. 
Hang on, she'll quickly show you where she's sitting. She's good friend, but not best friend yet. So we're working on getting her to best friend. I took her on a little uh, date last time. So maybe another date just to get her up to that sort of seven heart mark. And then a few more to get her to best friend. So we've got about 300 and I would say about 320, 330 points to go with Ginger. So that's like 10 dates for BFF. I can do 10 dates with her easily. Petra and Lucy for good friend, for best friend. Ooh. Phyllis and Ak. Hmm, Ak's nearly my best friend. That's well cool. Oh, I'm so sorry, Isaac. I stood on your head. I keep giving out gifts, so gotta keep it keep it up with those gifts. I want everyone to love me. Where's all my bookmarks gone? I don't have any. I need to buy more. This is why I never have any money because I want everyone to be my friend. Same with um, Django's roses. So why don't we get some roses, some paper roses? Some bookmarks, they're quite handy. I'm gonna go give... Oh, Oak, I wanted to go on a, a date with you. Hello. Hello. Hello, Oaks. Oh. I really need to get, like, meat or something for him in my inventory. Grilled meat. I don't even have a, like, a, a roasting kit for the grilled meat at the moment, because I'm terrible at that. But let's go on a play date anyway. My workshop tends tomorrow. Okay, we'll do lots of seesaw and that will help. Okay, I'm back. Right, let's go to the desert next. And go and see if we can find Dana. Because, as I say, she's someone I need, really need to work on. Dawa I need to work on too. Seems very happy to see me. Okay, so I got topaz, but I didn't make the topaz necklaces. Wow, I better make some of those too. Grief. Busy day with all this social. Like I say, like, I did so much with it. If you don't do social, you can do so much more. So much more fast. But you lose out on things. I'll give Lua a Pambat mask straight away today. Necklaces. That will do. Right, burritos. Paritos. I just realised I said paritos because I literally have like the ferret snacks on my desks and they are called paritos. They are actually called paritos. P E R I T O. Turkey soft stripes for dogs. <laughs> but ferrets like them too. <laughs> they are not just. They are not just for, for dogs. They can be for furts. Okay, so where's Dana? This is where she's nowhere to be found. Let's see where the Porsche bus. Oh, is she all the way down there? Maybe it's too early in the morning and she's on her way over still. I don't know. I would think she'd be here by now. I ain't seen her though. I'll take the DD over to the um over to here. Other side of the desert. And we'll see if we can find her. She might just be making her way over. It does take them a long time to walk, sometimes if they're coming all the way from from miles out, right? So there's Ye Ye. There's Siwa. Oh, I didn't get him a... Oh, man. Is someone coming across the bridge? Would that maybe be Dana? I see her, yeah. Okay. I'll go up to the Church of Light and get um, a present. For... Well, I might have already bought those grapevine things. Did I buy them? Was I clever enough to buy them? Or did I... was I being too tight? I was being too tight. <laughs> With my money, because I need I need to keep a certain amount for my factory. It's very important to me. 
But it's important to me to give Dana things every day. I think Yay Yay likes these coral necklaces. I've got a coral necklace in my inventory. And when I've got things like that, I like to... Oh, she popped in there for a bit. When I've got things like that, I like to give them to people straight away so that my inventory doesn't get so clogged up. Because I've got so much stuff that's to do with social just sitting in my inventory. Oh, oops. She doesn't like it. I thought she liked everything to do with coral, but it must just be the straight up coral and coral trees and stuff like that. That's fine though. Mistakes happen sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna go get see where another one of those. Let's pop up on the DD to the Church of Light. The best stop for there is this one. And then I've got to go all the way up the hill. Unless they happen to be selling things in the in the town square, sometimes they do, but sometimes not. I want to get an irrigation tower. One a day. And I'll be 25 points a day with Siwa, so that's going to be really useful. I have not got any mushroom crepes for Lee. But that's fine. If I want Lee to be my BFF eventually, I'll just take him on some dates and stuff. Right, so... One of these. I wish I could have more than one at once, but they're like roses. I only have one a day. Which is why those grapevines are quite useful for seaweed as well, but as I say, they are expensive, so I'm like, mm, maybe not. Maybe I could get a couple. Just so I don't have to go up to the Church of Light every day. It's really annoying. How expensive are these grapevines? They're 2,000 each. <laughs> okay, I, I'm starting to see why I didn't give them as a present. I was pretty devastated when I had to give um, as a present when I had to give away my sword because, well, when I accidentally gave away my sword because that cost me 3,000. So you can imagine I'm not just going to be like, yeah, I'll just give that away for 2,000. Oh, Ak, I need to give you a present because you'll be my best friend forever. Oh, no, sorry, just my best friend. Just my best friend, not my best friend forever yet. Haven't had it there forever yet. Oh, no, it's not. He's not my best friend yet. Hack, how could you? Oh, he'll probably be my best friend tomorrow. Man. Django and Phyllis and Petra are going to take a time as well, I guess. Okay, it's fine. Not everyone can be my best friend. I mean, I've got a page and a half of best friends now. We're working on this whole best friend thing. These guys have got a whole star to go. Oh, wow. Good friend lasts for ages because, like, you're a good friend from six up to eight. I think. When do you get to be best friend? Best friend is at eight. Good friend is at six. Yeah. We've got a lot of people between six and eight. An awful lot, actually. And these guys, I can definitely, all these five, I reckon, we'll work on getting them to best friend as soon as we can. I don't know what to do with Petra, though, because she likes bloodstones, I think. I don't know how many bloodstones I have. I might have spares. I ran out of that stew that she likes. Hey, Pinky, I might have a wise fish for you today. Pinky is my close. Yay! Meow, meow. That helper chest has no food for my horse in it, so I'm just going to go into the wood chest. Just grab some fibre. Or fabric chest, is it maybe, that I've got fibre in? I might put it in there. It would make sense, yeah. I'm just going to put a stack of 999 fibre in. Someone mentioned in the comments that would be a good idea, and I'm like, yeah, to be fair, like, poor little... Poor little lightning doesn't always have stuff to eat, so I think, you know, as a backup to the... While the apricots are regrowing and everything, I think that would be a really good idea. Okay, next person I want to go see is Lua. And then Siwa. I want to just try and work on the Hulus again. Like, I was working really hard on them before. Ah, Toadie, I've got a wise fish for you as well. No, not for Pinky, for Toadie. 
Where did he go? Cody? I think I pushed him off the bridge. Oh no, there he is. <laughs> Oh, Miss Eco Warrior. It really is a nice present. Thank you. You welcome. Hello, Mr. Musa. From what I've seen on my travels through the region, the entire Free Cities area is growing quickly. People from Ethia, Bonara, and even far away as locals are moving here. They are indeed. Not like I've found anybody new that's moved here. It's all the same hey. old. Same old, same, same old. So I guess there's some like magical people somewhere. He really likes it. So how is that making everything look really weird? Maybe a day or two of giving him more presents and we'll maybe get a change. Um, see what will change today. Lua's close to a change. Actually, maybe... If I give Siwa some, something... Oh my goodness, I hope he's still around. The day is gone. Where did it go? Where did my day go, guys? I definitely need to do some more fishing for wise fish. That's something I may go and do today. Pinky's trying to follow me. and She's like, just teleporting. We've got a long way to go. Oh, he's still out. Cool. Hey. Hi Siwa, would you like one of these handy irrigation towers that I just so happened to have? What? Oh, there. I just so happened to have in my inventory. Wow, I like it. So that was a big network change. So I think that may have grabbed Lua as well. Let's have a look. Okay, so Siwa is now my buddy. Lua is actually still my buddy. Tomorrow, if I give him a present tomorrow, though, he will be my friend. There is a chance, even that if I go and speak to him, that he will be my my friend, my buddy or something. Well, yeah, he will change. So, Erwa and Sanwa are both my friend, but not my good friend yet. Wuwa is very close to being my good friend. If I could find Wuwa, actually. See if we can see him. I've got a tire on me. Yeah, he's just over there. So I'm going to go and see if I can give Wuwa a present and see if I can get him to change to being my good friend. And that might be enough to make Lua my friend. I know, it's very confusing, right? I'm going to go over to, to the harbour stop and we'll see if we can just catch Wuwa. He's probably on his way back to the happy apartments. I know, we've got this exciting thing to do on Starlight Island. I'm chasing people around after social, but social is important to me, so I hope you guys don't mind. Hey, we were. are you on your way back home? Okay, so, Hi. if I give you a tire, how does that affect things? How thoughtful of you. I really like oh dear, if I speak to you? Oh no, not quite there. Oh no. Tomorrow, we're going to have some big changes to the Hulu relationships. Definitely. 100%. I've spent all day doing this. And there's so many things that I thought, oh, I'm going to get a big change on this, and it didn't happen. But I'm thinking tomorrow will be a big day for that. Ooh, I've got a sapphire. Nice. Yeah, who else is about at the moment? Uh, Emily, I don't need to give anything to. McDonald, I could give a present to. Jack, yeah. Uh, Jack might be in his home already. It's a bit late for the kids. Petra and Merlin are around, though. I might go and give them a present. Same with Carol and Phyllis. Yeah, I'll pop down to the, the centre and I'll just see who's in the round table right now. Uh, Presley, Toadie, Gail, Gus, Dr. Zoo and May. Right, I might want to pop in there to you and give me a jewelry box. Yeah, Isaac, I now have more of your um your little things you like. There we are. And we're gonna pop into Django's. There's only so many presents I can give out in a day, but I feel Hi. like it's so worth it. 
No bow ties? Oh, I must have used them all for jewelry boxes. No! May. Hey! I got you a jewelry box though, even though I used up all my a yellow bows. Nice, extra, extra Erwa points as well. I can't, I don't know where Erwa is right now, but Sonia, I could give you a present. Hi. I know I've got one. I know you're not my BFF Whoa. yet. <clears throat> this is like my favorite. I know, I do know you well. You're my BFF, Albert's my BFF. Presley, Hello. I could give you a rattan chair. I've got a few of those left. Thank you. Never expected you to give me this. I love the the emphasis on you. I never expected you to give me this. <laughs> Maybe someone else might have who knew me better, but not you. Like thanks, dude. Wee. Okie dokes. So, uh, Phyllis, hello. Hi. May I give you a talisman? How thoughtful of you. I really like it. I am really glad. I don't know where Merlin and uh, Petra went. I was a little while in the pub though, so maybe they've gone somewhere else. They've gone home. Yeah, they look like they're on the way home, so that's fine. I don't mind. Remington's still around doing his patrol, so I could maybe give him some lemonade or something. Oh no, there's Petra. What am I going to give you though, dude? I don't have good presents for you anymore. <laughs> I forgot to get any bloodstones out. And I don't know what else you like. Um, I could well have something right in my inventory that she loves, but I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Oh, man. oh there's Erwa. I think. Yes, coffee table. Hi. I can give you a coffee table. I may as well give out the presents that I know I have for people. I know I made some. Where are they? Eh. It really is a nice present. Thank you. Okay, this this is I'm priming this. This is gonna this is gonna hey. really ping tomorrow, definitely. A hundred percent. I want to be buff offs with everyone. Okay, so I need to go get some bloodstone oh chiwa actually as well. Why don't I give you a wise fish? An emperor lanternfish? I don't think so, mate. I don't even know if I have one of those. I like it. You're very nice. Okay, let's check in my chest, in my fish chest, if I happen to have an emperor lanternfish. Don't think so. I could try and fish one out. I'd have to work out what spot it was in, though. Nah, I don't have any of those. Okay, I need to make leather, don't I? Three pieces of leather. Normal leather, let's make just ten. Won't hurt. Maybe make some more fibre cloth over here as well. As I, get, as I say, I'm terrible at keeping my textiles going. There we are. I think I've done a sterling job of giving out presents today. It was most of what I did, so I'm glad that I did a, a sterling job of it. Um, I think I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed. And then tomorrow we'll maybe go on an adventure with Marley. Because, you know, you guys have been very patient with me doing all of my social. I don't have to be up to 3am every day, especially now I've got all these things in place to get wood and metal and things like that. I don't need to go every day to the ruins. I mean, it's it's useful to get relics. Relics are going to be good. Let's have a little look at this then. So, unused old parts. Oh, you know what I forgot to do yesterday? Oh, I am so silly. I forgot to take that big commission, didn't I? I handed it in and then I never took the nice commission, which would have given me 5,000 goals. So, I will remember that today. I will remember to actually take my commission. However, I I don't feel too bad. I had a really, really good time giving out presents, so. And it's important sometimes just to take a day out to do that, just to go give out presents, because these things are gonna take ages. Like, look at this. Mars is nearly my BFF. I need to give him one bubble fish soup today and he will be my BFF. And then he'll be another one ticked off my little list of people. Tick. 
so many with like three, four hundred points to go. So cool. Oh wow, by the time I get to the people that are like 500 points to go, I only have like one page left. That's like most of, most of the town, I'm over halfway. Russo, I'm over halfway. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight people that I'm not halfway with yet. That's really good. Two hours until play with Oaks, so we'll need to make sure we remember that. As I say, I'm struggling a bit with him, so... Oh, look at me trying to... Oh, that was my last commission of the week as well. Oh, and I missed it. Oh, well, okay. Never mind. I'm going to do the inspection. <laughs> I am so silly today. Like I say, I am still a little tired from running around like a headless chicken yesterday. <laughs> what other differences are there? are there? How many are there? There's three differences. I don't have the cheat thing on. I can't cheat. No cheating for me. Uh... <laughs> And this is why, you know you guys sometimes are like, oh, she refuses to do the inspections. It's sometimes it's because I've had comments before where I'm literally sitting here looking like this for a fault that you guys can clearly see. And I do understand that that's super frustrating. Can't see it. Something super subtle. It's a very complex machine as well, there's a lot going on. I don't have anything very hint. <laughs> we failed on that one. I got a bit frustrated. Okay, let's try another one. Something weird going on there. Okay, there's something weird going on there. It's always the third one. The third one's always really hard. If I struggle on this one, then I'm giving up. I'm not coming back without magnifying glasses. Oh, there's a big bump in the seat. <laughs> okay. That one was successful. Okay, right, we'll try another one then. Seems as I had a good time with that one. Gosh, they're slightly more... Um, the, the higher rank your workshop gets, the harder these get. Just in case you wondered why these were much harder nowadays. That wasn't too bad. Okay. I have no idea what this is. Oh. No, that's on both of them. Silly she lab. Yeah, there's a difference at the top there of some description. There's a difference on that chimney bit there. There's something weird about the back, I think. Hurrah! Mr. Isaac, present for you. So we need to go give all of the Hulus all their presents today. And see if we can really get some some sort of like chain reaction going on. I don't actually have anything for uh, Wu Wu today though. I have not made any new tires. I need to quickly go and do that. I always have the stuff for like a bajillion tires, but Anton, I will go get more yellow bow ties at some point. Um, just not quite yet. I've got so much to do though, and the more people that become my BFF, and talking about people that are going to become my BFF. I am going to go and give bu uh, Mars Bubblefish soup. Stew, not soup. I'm going to give him a Bubblefish stew, and then he will be my best Hello. friend forever and ever and ever. Amen. And then, don't need to worry about him anymore at all. Right, so. This smells incredible. Whoa! My mouth is already watering. That was some serious relationship changes with a lot of people there. Wow, wow, wow. That was a big one. I was a biggie. So we've got Mars, Albert, Emily, Gust. Gail is not my BFF yet, nor is Arlo. Sonia is getting there. 
Sonia and Arlo, a few more swords. I mean, I've got swords in my inventory for him. I'm, I'm sure I made some, so... Okay, I want some people to become my best friend. So, Django and Ak and Phyllis, I reckon I could maybe do today. Well, probably not Django. Django will be another day. But Phyllis and Ak, definitely. And then we'll go work on the Hulus. Ak, do you want to be my bestie? You want to be my bestie today? Hurrah! Extra points for the Arlo as well, so that's good. Oaks, Hi. would you like to play? Yes, what's the plan? The plan is to be really social. The plan is to go and doodle. And then the next plan after doodling oh, is to give Russo a coffee Hello. table. Because I can. How thoughtful of you. These things really help. He loves coffee tables quite a lot, so. Right, so I'm going to go all the way down to Amber Island. We're going to do some doodles and we're going to go on the seesaw. And then I'm going to give... Oh, I'll give Lua a present on the way past. Because you guys keep saying... Uh, no, I just want to give Lua a present. Hi. You guys keep saying, why don't you do that on the way past, wow, silly Sheila? See, so I knew that that would happen. That would be a big old boom, 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 boom. So I'm hoping that means that now Erwa is a friend. So I'm just going to check this out because it's hard to see on those things. And I know you guys can slow them down and and, and freeze, you basically freeze frame them and write them all out for me. And I love it when you do that. So anyway, because it's nice. It's nice that you went to that effort. Siwa is now a buddy. Yeah, yeah, is an associate, but is nearly a buddy, which is amazing because yeah, yeah, is difficult to get to to like you, as is Sophie. I mean, those two I'm gonna have to work on hard. And same with Dana. She's getting there. Lua is now a friend. Okay, so Sanwa is now a friend, and so is Erwa, and they are kind of half a heart towards being a good friend. Chiwa is now a friend that is getting very, very, very close to being a good friend. So Chiwa might be someone to actually ask out on a date tomorrow. That would be very useful, actually. Yeah, date with Chiwa. Wuwa became a good friend off the back of that. And Dawa is a good friend. A couple of... Uh, a date or just a couple of necklaces would get him up to um, best friend. And that might actually improve my relationship with Dana as well. So that would be a good one. Oh, hang on. Because that, that changed so many things I needed to look it all up. But uh, yeah, we were actually down here to doodle in the sand. Doodle in the sand. Yes, please. A bunny. Okay. So my idea of like kind of completion of Porsche, okay, because you guys are probably wondering, I'm getting further and further through this, when is it going to be complete for me? My idea of completion in this game is that um, I need to have not all of the achievements, because I don't think I can get all of them necessarily, especially because I've played it in, in a weird order and stuff like that, some of them are bugged out and things like that, so I'm not going to worry about achievements. I want the museum finished i want every person in porsche to be on bff level friendship with me this is that's a tough one that's why i'm working on so much social all the time because what i don't want is loads of social left to do at the end because i don't think just doing social would be very very interesting but i do want to try and get everybody to as high a level of friendship as i can the more people that are getting to BFF level with me, the less I'm having to worry about them and then I can go around finding other people. Also the fact that they're all visible now on my map, well most of them anyway, there's a f couple that aren't, but most people are. Most people are friend level or above, so they're visible on my map and that's amazing. I worked really hard to get that friend level thing going. The moon! Join the moon! 
People who I'm really struggling for presents with are getting more dates. Um, otherwise, they're just getting lots of presents. I don't think I'm allowed to do another one, but I would love to. I would love to draw all day, but no, I don't think I can do any more. And we'll just quickly do the seesaw. One, two... We've got three seesaw tries, I reckon, in us. And then uh, if I get any points back from doing well at the seesaw, then we will go and uh, chat. But you notice how many more tourists there are around now. Like, there's always some rando sitting on a bench somewhere that I don't know. So Porsche is slowly filling up the more I'm getting through the story and, and doing things to it. Like I say, I would love DLC for this so much. Decent DLC though. And the game kind of does need to be polished up first. You know, they shouldn't be doing DLC at the expense of the game, but I don't know whether they will. Or whether they'll be like, no, we're done Porsche and now we're moving on to Protoform and um, Buckyball or whatever it is. Um, Protoform, I'm slightly more interested in. Buckyball, whatever, I'm not interested in that at all, unfortunately. It might be really cool, but it just doesn't look like my sort of thing at all. And there's a lot of things coming up that are my sort of thing that I would prefer to put my time into. I would say that probably the game I'm one of the game. well... I'm excited for things like Farm Folks, I'm excited for Temtem, and I'm excited for... Uh, what else am I excited for? Ooblets and things like that, but I'm probably the most excited for Critter Cove. Like, I've been following the progression on that, and if it, if it turns out half as good as I think it's going to turn out, then, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good fun. I mean, they put a video up recently of the boat sailing mechanics on it. I'm like, oh, it looks so good. You could dive and you've got a little dude and then everyone around him is animals. It would be like Porsche being full of like other animals like Papa Bear, basically. All right then, so one more seesaw, I think. Oh, Remy, do you want a lemonade? I don't have any like waste packs or anything right now, but... Thank you for giving me a present. Doesn't ever hurt to give you a present. More seesaws. More seesaws. I find it very difficult to give everybody in Porsche a present in one day. Like, when I'm doing festivals, I run around like a headless chicken trying to give everybody a present. If so, if I did that normally, I would never get anything else done. So I just kind of take people on days out. I give presents where I see people. Then once there's more people on my BFFs, and I don't have to give out so many presents as I'm running around. I'll declutter my inventory out of the presents that, you know, they have. So, my, like, the Bubblefish Stew, for example. Don't need to give that to Mars anymore, so I could maybe take that out of my inventory. So, declutter my inventory out of things that, that people... Uh, that are already my BFFs used as presents. And uh, then I'm pretty much going to be free... Oh, two chat points. Nice. And that'll be free just to really concentrate on people like yay yay Sophie. So I'll probably spend a lot of time just going, rather than in town, I'll be going probably out to the further reaches of town. I'll be going out to the desert, I'll be going out to the farm a little bit more. I've never been too far from Portia. I'm happy to stay here with Papa Bear. It's my home. I know. I like being um, raised by Papa Bear. I grew up speaking Bear. I only learned the human tongue after Papa Bear sent me to school here in Portia. By the way, this is how you speak bear. Ow, 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 ow. Okay? That is how you speak bear. 129 points. This will be a decent 40 plus. Yep. Nice. It seems to be if you divide the score by three, that's about how many points you seem to get overall. So, what are we looking like with Oaks now? Is he going to be our friend soon? Papa Bear's a good friend. Right down the bottom there. So, he is now at a point where he's halfway. So, that's great. Toadie, Lua, Sophie, 
Siwa, Yeye, and Dana are not. Sophie and Yeye, the two grannies, are going to be the most difficult. I really, really need to be taking them presents every day from now on. So that's something I'm going to work on now. Um, I'm going to take, I'm going to start taking Yeye my roses every day. Until I can go get some coral and things like that. There's a few things that she really, really likes and I may just go and look them up. Same with Sophie actually. I may need to just give Sophie some more stuff. Other people, as I say, I can take them on dates. I can get around it. But these two, they are, t they are tough cookies. Okay, I'm going to see if Sophie's inside. She might be just uh, inside resting from the heat. Hello. Hi. Oh, I didn't bump into you for once. That's a turn up for the books, eh? How thoughtful of you. Yeah, so I need to... If it's plus 10 every time... And I need to, I need about 700 points. I need to give Sophie like another about 70 buckets. And then she'll be my BFF. <laughs> I think Hello. that's quite, a, that would be quite an achievement. That would be quite an achievement to give Sophie that many buckets. I, I may, for the two grannies, I may go and work out better things to give them. Because... I think I need something that's like 25 points for them if possible. Even if it's just to give out on um, like holidays and things. Just literally go out. The Commerce Guild inspection has ended. Oh no, what a shame. I did not do it to... Oh yeah, I did actually. But yeah, there will be, there will be other nice commissions to give out later. It's fine. Sometimes you do miss commissions, but it's like, you've got to balance it out. If I spend all my time doing commissions and getting money, it's not as much time to spend giving out presents. Oh no, I forgot to get the blinking thing for Siwa. I'm trying really hard to get him his, his stuff, his, uh, his irrigation hey. towers. Hey, 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 I, I really do want to work on my relationship with you, though. You're, very nice. You're a lovely old lady. There's buckets and roses. Buckets and roses. Buckets and roses. Okay, I might just put a little lid on the social because I've done a lot of it. So I'm going to go back to my house. And we're going to do something different. We're going to go and uh, help Marley out with Starlight Island, I think. I think that'll be good. Right. So the first thing I need to do before I go on any dungeon adventure is to sort out my inventory. Just make sure I've got enough space to collect cool stuff. So I've got a few fabrics and things like that in my... Oh, in fact, ha before I go... Has my leather been done? It has, right. So before I put those fabrics away, I'm going to go and sort out my pants. Go past all these people that I probably should be giving presents to. But it's fine. Sometimes you just gotta, like, ignore everybody. <laughs> There's always another day. Always another day. That's what you gotta remember. So I want these to go up to... Oh. I could put them up to level 42. But then I won't be able to wear them. So if I put them up to level 40. I'll be going up to 180 rather than 220. So I'll do that for now, because it's going to actually be a while before I get to level 42. So I can make some more leather. I've got loads of flexible fibre, so no reason not to do that now. And then I can put my Kung Fu pants back on. Oh, no I can't. Sorry. I can put my Kung Fu pants back on in a day or two when they get mailed back to me, because she has to work on them. I will give Jack an apple. That will be the only person I give something to, because he's really close to like going up in level. I bet you gave this lot of thought. Not really, but I'm Autumn glad you thought it did. All her vegetables. She has a vegetable garden too. Where does she keep all these things? Her garden's like this big. That is her entire garden, and she somehow keeps a flower shop and a vegetable growing thing going with just that. That's it's crazy, right? So, um, I'm gonna put those away. Put all the fabrics away now. That was the reason I wanted to do those pants, was just so that I could get away with putting all the fabrics away. Just get a little bit more space in my inventory. There we are. So that's 
that's a good page worth of space that I've got now. So let's ride on down to the harbour. And we'll go help we'll go help Ms. Marley out. I may come back and like take a little screenshot of um Starlight Island when it's a little bit of a Ready to go to Starlight Island? Yes. A little bit of a nicer day, maybe, because we're, we're quite late in the day at the moment. Mind you, I could brighten that image up. That's going across on the paddle boat. Oh, that is beautiful. Starlight Island, twi wow. Okay, I'm glad I went at this time of day. That's stunning. So this is Starlight Island. Looks nice. The ruin entrance is over there. Let's go. Okay, so what I can do um, as well is quickly go and see if I can find a little bit of coral around the place because apparently, Ye Ye quite likes this. And there's also some kind of coral tree or something I can make that she really likes, I think. So we'll try that because as I say, Ye Ye, I mean, she won't be as difficult as Sophie. I'm going to see if I can find something that Sophie likes better than buckets because Otherwise, as I say, I will have to give her 70 of them. And that will get a little tedious. I will do it if I have to. But it will get a little tedious. So pretty across here. And you can get coconuts. And big pina coladas. Like that song. Do you like pina coladas? Looks like an old office park. We get these a lot in Lucian. Ah. Come on, let's go inside. Stay close, okay? I would love it if I worked in an office that like looked like the inside of the Starship Enterprise or something, you know? <laughs> I help! I do all fightings! Molly, you did not fight that one at all. You can fight that one! There you go. I give you chance. All right. Um, ooh, who are these dudes? Senti dogs. With their whip, whip tails. Whip it good. They give me nice things like advanced engines, though, so I don't mind too much. Take them out, Marley. Yeah, she's so good. But I think that's the thing, is that you see the Civil Court and then you see how like amazingly Marley does compared to them. Ah. Ooh. Some of the wires what on the door controls are fried. Think you can fix it? Yeah. Okay. Copper wires, I got them off the dogs anyway. What's in there then? Tablets. This, this is, is interesting. Full of amazing you know artwork, are? this episode. No. no. They're designs for processors. Pretty useless to us now since we're not about to produce any of the parts. So, this is a design facility. We'll need to be careful. There might be guard AIs. Cool. Petra would be like right up in here, look. Wow. Gotta be careful, she says. Pressing random buttons and opening random doors. Mwahaha. That looks like there's a chest buried in the sand. There is. With starlight coral in it. Because I I can't get enough of that on the on the surface. Yeah, I think we need to go up the stairs a bit more. So that was probably opening this door up here in that one, I imagine. Molly, help! I'm being whipped by senti dogs. No! I'm here, yo. Okay, this better have something better than coral in it this time, okay? Ooh, structural aesthetics. If Gust was not my BFF, that would be really useful. <laughs> Might be able to put it in the museum, though. You'll have to see. Ah, 
Ow. There's no way to get up there. Oh the no. This lift is broken. Can you fix it? Well, I did happen to pick up an advanced engine, so if that's all you need. Good guess. Up we go. Okay, to a new level. Oh, There's okay. There's a door on the far side. But we need to get those piggy bosses first. Wait. They are very stompy. Super stompy marching pigs. Ow, ow, ow. They kick. Look at those legs kicking. Wow. That one's nearly down. We're gonna work on you first. Ow. Their legs just extend. Poor Marley's taking a beating there. And so am I. Don't kill Marley. Ow, ow. Okay, I'm gonna like just quickly see if I've got my gun at the moment. Yeah, I do. Let's see if I can shoot them. I maybe need a slightly better gun though. I'm literally like shooting him with venom darts right now. Do I have the, the thing for the better gun? I can definitely make bullets now. Okay, I'm gonna head in there with my sword because he's stuck in the corner. Done! Yes, military engines, compressors, all sorts of cool stuff. Alright. Continue explorer manipulation. What's in here? Coral necklace blueprint and a military cap. Nice. So I've got all the military gear now. Except for the jacket. I am struggling for jackets right now. Um, so I think I may need to go through some of the other ruins and get them. Oh, that's what weird glass jars are for. That's I found like key. a bajillion of those in the ruins, by the way. Passcode key. To that locator computer we found. Ooh. Most countries back in the age of corruption had powerful AIs called all source AIs. They ran everything from their infrastructure to their military. Because of how sensitive they were, the locations for these AIs were always hidden and only key personnel were able to access them. At least that's what the old books said. There were always rumors that one such AI was around these parts, but I never bought into that. This could be a momentous discovery. Ooh. Come on, let's head back. All right, then. Um, um, is there a super secret way out? Oh, yay. Yay for super secret way outs. I'll get back to you. I'll get this to the research center. I guess we'll need to have a meeting on what to do next. Thanks for the help today. I'll get back to you. Nice. And I'm level 41, so I'm getting closer to being able to wear those really, really nice gears now. Those military gears. Yay! Ooh, a couple of thousand gold for doing that as well. Very, very nice. So I'm going to head on back to Peach Plaza Stop. I had a good day today. A really good day for social. And also, a super really good day just for... Oh, no. One thing I have not checked, and I probably should have asked whose birthdays are around now. We missed Arlo. No! But that doesn't matter too much because Arlo is nearly our BFF. Lucy is tomorrow. That might be a good one to, to keep up with, though. Hmm. Let's have a look at Arlo, actually. Yeah, he's only got one heart left. I mean, if I'd have given him, like, something really nice on his birthday, he could have practically been our BFF. But it's okay. It's not so bad. I can give him swords and stuff, and it's it's cool. I'm alright with that. People like Sophie. 
I might be a bit more annoying if I miss their birthday because they're people I really, really need to, like, really need to get in with now. So what am I going to do for the rest of the day? I think maybe a little bit of ruin hunting might be in order. Might maybe find some relics. How's my inventory looking after that little... Oh, not too bad at all. Okay, yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think I'm going to go into ruin number two up here and I'm going to just go and see what bits and pieces I can find in the ruins. I'm going to recheck it. I'm going to reset it as well. Doesn't really make a difference, but sometimes you can find different relics. You quite often find repeats in the same ruin, I find. So changing it up sometimes change what you, changes what you get a little bit more. So, let's see what we can see. A box, a box, a spring, something wiggly. Something wiggly is always good. Something else wiggly. And something else, possibly wiggly. Okay, let's go find wiggly things. Soldier with blade piece, that is a relic. At the moment I'm just finding whatever I can. Oh, there was another wiggly piece. I want that wiggly piece. There, that one. That looks like it might actually just be a washing machine though. But it could be something cool, so I'm just going to check. It was a washing machine. I should go with my intuition. I can't wait to get the upgrade. Uh, the, when, honestly, finding relics is so much easier once the relic scanner upgrades to being, being able to like actually, phys I think there's a point where it actually physically tells you. It actually writes out what it is that you're finding. And that makes it so easy. And you could do like five things at once. So I think this is a racket to be honest. it is. I know these things, you see. That's tempering liquid. That's a spring, I think. It's a box. It's a box. That's definitely a relic, and that could be one. So let's keep going this way, then, I guess. Oh, or is that a racket on its side? Yeah, it's a racket on its side. Uh, it's because I keep going for wiggly things. I mean, no, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a racket. I could sell them, I guess. That looks like it could be like soldier's feet or something, maybe. Oh, it's tempering liquid. It's lubricant, sorry. Aww. See, now I'm looking. Now I'm looking for relics. All I am finding is things that are not. Because that is the way of the world. Now, that definitely is one. That's like a soldier hat. Let's go and find that. It never hurts to find springs and stuff, but uh, that's not really what I'm looking for right now. The soldiers are really good as well. They give you extra defense in your house. So if you put them in your house, they give you extra defense. Racket. No, no, I don't think so. That is something. I'm gonna go towards those then. It's amazing how fast the time seems to go when it's like the whole day is really really slow when you're doing social and things like ruin uh you know going through ruins with marley and stuff like that. uh okay not enough stamina i think then i will eat an apple slice or two if i can come on let me eat my apple slices because i've got a couple of them just just a just a, t a tad just a couple Looks like a relic piece. That's probably a galloping horse. Though. Oh, it's owl clock, actually. Okay. That's not so bad. But like I say, I think it will be a lot easier once I have the upgraded relic scanner. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe it'd be better just to leave the relic hunting until the relic scanner is upgraded. It does mean I'll be doing a lot of relic hunting in one go. Oh, goddess statue. Nice. Once I've run out of, uh, once I've run out of stamina, though, I'm gonna just head back and see if I can put together what I found. Oh, it's all rackets and stupid things. Give me relics. Give me things that might actually be relics.
That over there, 32 away, I reckon that's something good. I'm really guessing at the moment, as I say, once it tells me what they are, that's going to be so much better. Do you know what? Okay, I did say when it runs when it runs out, I'll go to the entrance and I will see if I can put together any more relics. So at the moment so far, I've had the galloping horse, uh, the weird glass jar, the waterlin porcelain the water porcelain holder, no porcelain water holder, <laughs> the porcelain water holder, um, a couple of their little doofers, little paintings and things like that. Uh, I said galloping horse, didn't I? I don't think we've had the thinking can completely yet. Let's see if there's anything else I can craft yet. So oh, no, I can do one more old thermos. But that's pretty much it right now. That's a shame. I might recover it anyway. Just I could sell it or give it as a present. There are some people that enjoy relics as presents. I believe Presley is one of them. He quite likes a lot of these relic things as presents. Um, I'm going to just open the relic chests and pop these in. I pop them in in any old order and then I just I just leave it up to the uh, machine to find them. That's why I like having the machine in the first place. My stone storage box is so full right now. I think I need to change that to a different one. Do I have it? Right, okay, so do I have a free... Help a storage box, I do. So I'm gonna call this one stone and sand. And then change up the um, one that's already stone and sand. The wooden storage box that's stone and sand and call that free. So it's free for anything else that I want to put in it. I'm gonna move all this stuff out. So just get rid of all that. The cultivated soil probably should be in the farming chest anyway and the soil maybe should be there too. But regardless of that, there's so much sand and things going in that I do feel that I need a bigger chest for it. I could just put the soil in there now because it's so big. Right, there's a few metals that aren't going into the metal chest properly. And I do want to get bloodstones. A gem chest? Yeah. Uh, keep them there for Petra. I keep seeing Petra and then not having anything to give her and that's really super annoying. Well, did I put... Oh, did I put all my stuff back into the original stone and sand? Oh dear. I've done something silly here, definitely. Because that stone and sand chest don't have any stone and sand things in it. And they've gone missing. No! No, 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 no. Okay, so I don't have a second stone and sand. Where have I put them? This is terrible. I'll look through these again quickly. No me, I put it straight back into the wooden storage. Oh, what a Egypt. Like, no, I haven't though. Where have all my That's all my stone and sand gone? I might even have to watch back to see where I put it. I didn't put it in my relic chest, did I? It seemed to have. Metals, mechanical part. I'm gonna look through everything then. Clothes, fabric, farming, no, fish, no. Food, it's gotta be here somewhere, right? Free. Free number two, free number three, free number four, gems, healing items, helper's storage box, helper's storage box, ah, there we are. I knew I'd done something stupid there, but I didn't know what it was. All right, stone and sand. 
Sorry, everybody. That was very silly of me, wasn't it? Was not paying enough attention at all. Right, there we are. All sorted out. Nice. Just going to put the charcoal in there as well. Oh, the other thing I haven't done in ages at all is to sort out these guys. So let's see. So we, Oh, okay. So these are all nearly out of fuel too. Oh, wow. I've been very neglectful of this uh, episode, but I've been really good with social, so I kind of don't mind. Okay, so I've got 999 pieces of wood, so I think that's fine. fueled up nice so let's just make sure that everything is making something so we've got iron bars being made over here um, we want carbon steel bars probably being made over here but I don't have a, uh, barely any charcoal right now so I'm just gonna just like supercharge that by making 50 charcoal on here and then I'll make 10 each on these furnaces that I still have after all this time those as I say will probably only go away once I get the factory and then once we get the factory, we'll have some fun with decorating and stuff. It's just at the moment, I feel like I just want to get like the the all the basic buildings in before I really start to like decorate and everything. Let's have a look at these guys. Make sure that they have been fertilized, which they have not. And I just passed out. Okay, so tomorrow I need to work on being a good farmer to my uh, my stuff. What's probably happened is I've been running around doing things on Starlight Island and all the story stuff. And in the meantime, I've not been putting any fertilizer in because I'm kind of worried about money at the moment. So I'm thinking that maybe next year I won't be as worried about money because I'll have all the bits and pieces in my yard that I need. So I can just spend the money on things like irrigation systems and buying tons of fertilizer off Sophie. I could even make it, but who wants to pick up poo all day? only oaks so anyway that that's the end of that episode i hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more porsche please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out i hope to see you next time in the meantime though please look after yourselves and keep being awesome <laughs>